to children from this what you can understand corresponding sides are in proportion and you know that in a square all angles are equal to 90 degrees now i can say that these two conditions are satisfied corresponding sides are in proportion and all angles are equal to 90 degrees so i can say corresponding angles are equal so from this what you can understand children two squares are always similar not only this you can check with any other two squares two congruent figures are always similar but two similar figures are not always congruent now let us check this condition children i am taking triangle abc and i am taking triangle pqr children are you observing these two triangles yes they have same size and same shape so what i can say triangle abc and triangle pqr are having same shape and size here i am taking another triangle def and taking another triangle xyz okay do they have same shape yes both are equilateral triangles but do they have same size no so what we can say here triangle def and triangle xyz are having same shape but having different size so here i can say that triangle abc and triangle pqr are congruent at the same time they are also similar children from this what you can understand here these two triangles are congruent as well as they are similar triangle def and triangle xyz are similar but they are not congruent children why these are not congruent because they do not have the same size so from this what you can understand children two congruent figures are always similar but two similar figures are not always congruent now let us know the applications of similarity children here a question is there let us solve this standing at 5 meters apart from a vertical pole of height 3 meters sudha observed a building behind the pole and found that tip of the pole is in line with the top of the building if the distance between pole and building is 10 meters estimate the height of the building here what is the condition you have to use children height of sudha is neglected so height of the pole is 3 meters distance between pole and building is 10 meters distance between sudha and pole is 5 meters and you don't know the height of the building so i am taking it as h meters children observe here i am taking the ground i am taking a point let us take this point as point of observation from where sudha is observing let the point be a i am taking the pole here bc so what is bc children here yes it is pole from where sudha is observing yes is she is observing from a and bc is the pole now de is the building children de is the building now what sudha is doing she is observing from a such that this top of the pole and top of the building are in a line try to understand children sudha is observing from a such that the c and e are in a line so i can say that this is the line of sight now here what you have to find children you have to find the height of the building how can we do this let us check this is a triangle abc this is another triangle ade children these are similar triangles the small triangle and this big triangle are similar to each other distance between sudha and pole is 5 meters height of the pole is 3 meters distance between pole and building is 10 meters and we don't know the height of the building so what we are doing children here yes we are taking it as h now i can say that triangle abc is similar to triangle ade so from this what you can understand the corresponding sides are in proportion so for ab in triangle abc corresponding side is ad for triangle abc and triangle ade corresponding side of ab is ad in the same way corresponding side of bc is de so i can say that ab by ad equal to bc by de children from this what is ab value yes it is 5 and what is ad 5 plus 10 which is equal to 15 so 5 by 15 which is equal to 3 by h now after cross multiplication what will get children h into 5 equal to 3 into 15 in next step i can write h equal to 3 into 15 by 5 five ones Five threes, so three threes are nine. Now, what is the height of the building, children? Yes, 
it is 9 meters. So, height of the building is h equal to 9 meters. Like this, we can apply the concept of similarity in finding the unknown heights. Now, let us understand what is a dilation. A method of drawing enlarged or reduced similar figure. Children, what you are observing on the screen? Yes, a beautiful house. A boy taken a chart and draw this figure on the chart. Now, can I say that these two are similar? Yes. Why? These two have same shape, but different size. So, I can say that these two are similar figures. So, in dilation, what do you do children? We will draw similar figures. Either we enlarge the figure or we reduce the figure. Let us construct a dilation with scale factor 2. First, draw a triangle PQR and choose the center of dilation C which is not on the triangle. Children, I am taking a triangle, I am naming it as PQR, I am taking a point C which is the center of dilation. As I am taking triangle here, I am drawing three rays from C passing through P1, passing through Q1, passing through R1. Children, how many rays I have drawn here? Yes, I have drawn three rays. If you take quadrilateral, how many rays you have to draw? Yes, you have to draw four rays. Now, what is the scale factor here? Yes, it is 2 means we have to enlarge the given triangle 2 times. So, how to do it? It is very simple children. From C to P, you measure the distance and from C, you take an arc of twice it and cut the ray. So, what I am doing children here? I am taking an arc and cutting the ray such that this C P dash is twice C P. Children try to understand here, I am drawing an arc to cut the ray and it is intersecting at P dash, C P dash is twice C P. Suppose if I take scale factor 3, children what you have to do? I have to take 3 times. Now next, I am cutting the second ray, I am taking the point as Q dash, I am cutting the third ray, I am taking the point as R dash. Children here you try to understand C P and C Q. P dash. If you compare, C P dash is double C P, C Q dash is double C Q, C R dash is double C R. Now, we got three points no children. What you have to do? You have to join them. I am joining P dash Q dash, Q dash R dash and P dash R dash. Are you getting a triangle children here? Yes. Is it similar? Yes. Triangle P dash Q dash R dash is similar to triangle P Q R. From this what you can understand children? The corresponding sides are in proportion and the ratio is equal to 1 by 2. I can say that P Q by P dash Q dash, Q R by Q dash R dash, P R by P dash R dash is equal to 1 by 2. Children like this you have to construct a dilation for a given polygon. Now, let us understand types of symmetry. Children, we have three types of symmetry that is line symmetry, rotational symmetry and point symmetry. Let us understand what is line symmetry. The line which divides a figure into two identical parts. Children, you take any figure and if you draw a line, if that line divides the figure into two equal parts, then I can say that the line is called line of symmetry. Children, observe the screen now. I am taking a triangle, I am drawing a line. Now, what this line is doing? Yes, it is dividing the given triangle into two parts. Yes. So, can I say that this line has line of symmetry? Yes. Now, I am taking a circle with a diameter and drawing a line and this line is dividing the circle into two equal parts. So, can I call this line as line of symmetry? Yes. Children like this, you can draw lines of symmetry for given figures. Now, a rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Children try to understand here, I am taking a rectangle. How many lines of symmetry I am able to draw? Yes, I am able to draw two lines of symmetry. A square has four lines of symmetry. Children observe the screen, I am taking a square, I am drawing a line vertically, now horizontally, diagonally, another one diagonally. How many lines I am able to draw children? Yes, four lines. So, what I can say here, a square has four lines of symmetry. Now, let us understand what is rotational symmetry. If we rotate a figure about a fixed point by a certain angle 
and the figure looks exactly the same as before then we say that the figure has rotational symmetry i am taking a rectangle i am rotating it through 90 degrees children are you getting the same figure here no now what i am doing again i am taking a rectangle now i am rotating it through 180 degrees am i getting the same figure here yes so rotation of 180 degrees is able to give the original figure so i can say that a rectangle is having rotational symmetry and if you rotate 360 degrees again it will be appearing the same so in this uh, so from this what you can understand children if you rotate rectangle up to 360 degrees it looks like it for two times so let us understand what is order of rotation when a figure is rotated through its center its shape resembles the initial position certain number of times that number is called order of rotation children already i said that when you take a rectangle and when you rotate it through 360 degrees it appears like it for two times so what i can say here order of rotation of a rectangle is 2 and if i take a square for 90 degrees for 180 degrees for 270 degrees and for 360 degrees it looks like the same figure so i can say that order of rotation of square is 4 and for equilateral triangle the order of rotation is 3 why children if you take equilateral triangle if you rotate it for 120 degrees it looks the same again for 240 degrees again next for 360 degrees and for circle it is having infinite order of rotation children from this what you can understand order of rotation of rectangle is 2 order of rotation of square is 4 order of rotation of an equilateral triangle is 3 order of rotation of a circle is infinite now let us understand what is point symmetry if a figure looks the same either from upside or from downside that is from any two opposite directions then we say that the figure is having point symmetry children what you are observing on the screen here alphabets what are the alphabets here yes english alphabets x h i n z children have you observed any time taking a mirror and keeping just beside this alphabets see children when you observe this x from upside or from downside if i take a point here it looks the same so i can say that x is having point symmetry not only for x h is also having point symmetry i is having point symmetry n is having point symmetry and z is also having point symmetry children you try to observe some more alphabets which are having point symmetry in english alphabets now applications of symmetry let us understand what is tessellation the patterns formed by repeating figures to fill a plane without gaps or overlaps okay children in our day to day life we observe many beautiful pictures which are used either in kitchen or bedroom or uh, bathroom etc have you observed any time the tiles they are kept one beside the other so that the total wall will be filled and it brings uh, beauty for the wall have you observed children any time now let us understand what is tessellation children here i have prepared a tessellation i have taken a square and in that i filled four triangles i am calling it as a basic figure now what i am doing children i am taking a plane now i want to fill this basic block into the plane now if i fill is it filled completely are you finding any gaps children no is it overlapping no is it looking beautiful yes like this you can prepare any number of tessellations required pictures or i can say you can prepare any number of tessellations using your choice of figures so i can call this as a tessellation okay children try yourself how many letters in english alphabet have one line of symmetry two lines of symmetry and more than two lines of symmetry children in your earlier classes you learned about line of symmetry take english alphabets and try to check whether they have line of symmetry or not if they have line of symmetry what is the number of line of symmetry are they having one line of symmetry or two lines of symmetry or more than two lines of symmetry check children draw a quadrilateral of any measurements construct a dilation of scale factor 2 so i explained for triangle no children you take a quadrilateral and you take a point you draw the four rays and using scale factor 2 construct a dilation draw any two tessellations and name the basic shapes used in your tessellation for better understanding of the concepts solve the worksheets 
please visit the official website of SCRT for worksheets. Okay, children. In our today's session, you learnt about similar figures, congruent figures, dilation, tessellation, and types of symmetry. In our next session, let us meet with a new concept. Thank you. आचरुलम्मा नेरुगा प्रतिहिंति गड़पा चेरगा मैं भविता के भरोसा दूर दर्शन में दिखा